What is a tarot reading? Well, I've got to start off by saying that, of course, depends on the level of clairvoyance of the reader. Because tarot can be read in many, many different ways. One can read it in a mechanical fashion. Definition of the card equals this. Would that necessarily relate to what is called literally the querent, the customer, the client, whoever is answering the question? Um, Probably not so much. I must point out something here, very important. No real psychic reads for themselves. Why, you might ask? We lack the objectivity. I know of nobody in the field who can read for themselves. Sorry, wish I could. That's the way it is. So really, one is doing a reading for somebody else. If one has a psychic ability, these are merely a tool, a visual tool. I sometimes think, because I use tarot with clients, I think they serve another purpose. Let me demonstrate. So, of course, it would be the client who is doing the shuffling seven times and then returning the cards to me. And I'm going to demonstrate the most basic, the Celtic cross, tarot. If it is a discipline that appeals to you, what you need to do, either a kind friend can give you a deck, as I was first given, or perhaps even better, go, if you can, either online or to a store. US Games, these cards are by courtesy of them, and they have produced most of the cards. Go online, or into a store, and you will see hundreds and hundreds of different tarot decks. I cannot tell you which one might speak to you. That is your choice. I choose Mary Hanson Roberts and the basic Rider Waite. You might choose something considerably more esoteric in style. That is your choice. Also, having chosen your tarot cards, I believe it's very important to take care of them, to wrap them at night in silk and put them in a box, not to be played with by other people in your household. You will, I think, if you treat them well and they speak to you, gain a great deal out of a tarot deck.